got a good number here. So we're delighted this morning to welcome Deb Lees as our first guest teacher whilst that took us away. And so um, we've got Roger with us as well. So a real treat this morning to get some live music for us. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Deb and um, she'll hopefully run the class for us this morning. Thank you, Deb. Thanks, Elizabeth. I'll just put that seat out of the way. Check. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, it's, it's a real pleasure to be here. I'm very privileged to, to be asked. And uh, it's great to have Roger playing um, for me because that is a, another, uh, de definitely a privilege to have live music to, to teach to. Um, so, as been advertised, the dance I'm going to teach this morning will be Miller's Fancy, um, a dance written by Elizabeth Miller. I'll give a bit more information later on. We're going to start off with a warm-up, as is traditional. I'm going to do it to marches, so it will be a follow my leader to start with, just to get us moving. It's quite chilly here, and I don't know what it's like where you are. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
got most of the joints moving. We'll just do the quick foot position exercise. This time, got absolutely right for me, Alan. Yeah. So, it's the one I start most of my classes with. So, if you point your foot to second, just again, still power the warm up, fully stretch all the way down, toe pointed slightly forward, bring it into third. And then out, fourth intermediate, into third. Straight forward, into third, second, and hold. Do it with the left foot, second, into third. Have a check, is it where you think it is? Fourth intermediate, straight on the diagonal, toe still turning up, in, straight forward to fourth, second, and hold. Now we're going to do the whole thing to the back. Second, third rear, Fourth intermediate, in, straight back, in, second and forward. Second, behind, fourth intermediate, behind, straight back, behind, second and forward. Whenever you're going to the back, the heel is still facing forward. It's the turn out from the, from the hip that's going to give you that. So the heel still facing forward forward on that. So, however many bars it takes. Ready, and second, third, intermediate, third, forward, third, second, one, second, third, diagonal, third, forward, third, second, to the back, Is 
quite sprightly. It's fun. <laughs> it's, it's the nature of the tune. All right. So we'll need to com uh, combine that pad of basque with a number of different movements. Um, we'll start off with, I'm just going to check which one we're starting with. Oh yes, the hop and swish. So, we're going to do step to second and bring the foot through and swish to what's known as attitude. The foot slightly in front on the diagonal, toe pointed down and held up in front. So just do that again, step, swish, hop. We'll do it on the other foot, step, swish, hop. <coughs> so the combination with the pad of basque, step and up and a pad of basque. And again, step and up and a pad of basque. And on the left foot, Step and up and a pad de basque. So, we try some of those to the music and we'll do it and music will keep playing but we will stop in between them so that we're not come moving it from one foot to the other. Okay, ready and step and up and a pad de basque. And say it again. a number of things hopefully they're not okay <laughs> what are men supposed to do for the pad of bass dangling i think yes it's not a dance with i mean for the lady once they get into doing the dance it'll be skirt holding but for the men i think it's just holding them so that they are uh not dangling that's not the right word but, <laughs> but so so that they are there um so, um, the other kind of asking to spring hop through, yes. So, the spring hop through movement. Um, get on to, uh, I'll, I'll go on to the left foot first. So, spring and the right foot comes in behind and out. And it's that gentle out movement. Nothing kicked, just present it out there. So, we've got in and out. We've done it lots of times with that suko. Up and out. The foot position behind is very important. It's tucked in there. Not sticking out, not quite not making. It's tucked right on the calf muscle and comes out. Do it springing onto the right foot. Behind, out. Do it again. Behind and out. And presenting it out there to that accurate fourth intermediate position. So, with the pad of bass, that will be pad of bass, and you've got your left foot there to spring and through. So, pad of bass and spring and through. <coughs> we'll do that basic form, and then I'll do the amended form. And we can do from pad of bass, spring, pop through, pad of bass. We can do it a couple of times and just keep it going. Um, Ready, and... Should have kept it going a bit 
more. Right, there's a slight variation because we're going to do the pas de basse going backwards to that bit. So your foot will be, I'll do it this way on it, be easier. So your foot is already extended ready and you're going to pas de basse backwards, spring and out. So we'll do that again. So the foot extended, back, two, three, spring, through. And if we do it on the other foot, extended, pas de basque, spring and through. So going backwards, back, two, three, spring, through. So for this one, we will definitely pause. I'll do one, pause, do another one, and then change feet. So have it ready, extended to start. Ready, and that 
you don't come in, it's a there. A little circle, almost a little circle with the knee, toe pointed down, and then step on the diagonal for this one into third behind. So we've got hop, step, close, and it's not cutting in, it remains forward. So we have hop, step, close. And with the other foot, we've got hop, step, close. And hop, step, close. So it's hop and travel, she terms it. <coughs> and combining it with the coupe, we'll have coupe, hop, step, close. And with the other foot, it will be coupe, hop, step, close. So, with the music, this will be a do some, do one stop, do one stop. Ready? And okay, hop, step, close. And say that again. Okay, hop, step, close. And we go We do need another hop, step, close, but this one's to second this time. So it will be going hop, step, close. So hop, step, close. And with the other foot, hop, step, close. So I find myself going slightly forward on these because it's the direction that, even though it says to second, it's quite difficult to keep it absolutely to second, and I find, and still keep it soft. So you'll probably see me travelling slightly on the diagonal, not helping myself. Especially with, as it's followed with, one, two, three. We've now got to come out to fourth intermediate for um, hop, or shake, shake down. Hop, partially extended, hop, and behind. So we'll have one, two, three, and a hop, hop, down. We've had that in a few notices before, and it's partial, full. And with the other one, one, two, three, and a hop, hop, down. <coughs> so, we will have to do those uh, stop starts as well. With the music, ready, and hop, set, close, hop, hop, down. I'll do them with my back to you when we actually do do the dance, unless I think it's making a difference with the um, direction. I think they're fairly clear for what the feet are doing. A quick question. Yep. Um, in this last figure, you do, wh where are you traveling? You're traveling to kind of second or to fourth intermediate? It's just, it's written to second. So like the hop, second. hop down, the, 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 the foot no, the hop, hop down, fourth intermediate, second and down. Oh, I see. So you got the yeah, foot in so second. So the hop step close is the hop, and that is travelling to second, but then you've got to come out to fourth intermediate and down. As I say, I find myself in preparation drifting a little bit on the diagonal. It's one of those things where it's dance rather than exact, I think. Right, okay. Yeah, but it is written to second, that one. The other one I did, the coupe, is written to fourth intermediate. So there is a distinction between the two. So, oh, the Bure travelling. Again, we've had these in other dances where you're going to go front, behind, front, extend, three. And the preparation is the extension, is the start of the step. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So, on the other foot, so we've got extend. Third, fifth, third, third, two, third, third, two, third. 
And when it's quick, the extension does merge into the end of the other step. But just being aware that it is one, two, close, extend, one, two, close, extend. So we'll do some of those travelling burries and up, up, down, up, up, down for it. Yeah? So that's overextended there. Right. With music ready. And up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Traveling. Try it on the other foot. Ready. And one, two. Okay, when well, they're quite quick, they can become a bit scuffly, those. Uh, but we only do two at a time, not a whole sequence like that. Hop, brush, beat, beat. It has a lot of hot brush beat beats and the rhythm in this reel, despite what I put out in the tutorial, there are different rhythms in reels, this one is very clearly with the hop on the upbeat and it's written as that. So it's hot brush beat beat, hot brush beat beat, hot brush beat beat, with the brush beat beat on the even brush one, beat two, beat three, and pause. So, try that on the other foot. Hot brush, beat, beat. Hot brush, beat, beat. Hot brush, beat, beat. So, that's in this particular rhythm, that's how it fits the music best. And I'm going with what that super said on one of them, on one of the uh, classes, just dance with the music and you can't do anything else. And I think that really applies in your, when we get to the tune, that really will apply. So, shall we try some hot brush beat beats? Starting on the right foot. Ready, and hot brush beat beat, hot brush beat beat, hot brush beat beat, hot brush beat beat. Brush, beat, beat. And we'll do them on the other foot. Ready, and brush beat beat. The important thing with them is that your supporting foot stays turned out. It is quite easy to come in and as you do that, your foot starts and turns forward. It's something I see quite a lot, including in myself, that the temptation as you beat that you get a forward facing foot. So really concentrate, we'll do them again, we'll do three and pause and then so the music doesn't have to stop suddenly um, and then change feet. Concentrate on keeping that third position with your landing, your supporting foot. Ready and hot brush, beat, beat, hot brush, beat, beat, brush, beat, beat and change, brush, beat, beat. And the other thing, remember, point that toe. Just because it's coming in for a brush doesn't mean it can be lazy to extend. So point, then in for the brush. Um, don't think they're combined with anything. No, they're not. Just a couple more to do. The Glasgow Highlanders step. So that's forward, hop, back. Hop, and then a burry under, behind, side, front, <coughs> and there is a hop when you do it in the stress bay. In the faster time, it can be difficult to get that in, and it sometimes merges with the other side. Forward, back, hop, behind, side, front. Forward, hop, back, hop, behind, side, front. So try and get that extra hop in. But if you can't, don't worry too much about it because it is quite quick to move from the behind side front to go forward. And the hop really assimilates into the forward bit. So let's see if we can do some Glasgow Highlanders. Ready? And hop. Very end, you can't 
and do that pick up hop because of what comes next. Just do that the other way on because then you can see the feet. Side by side, slow. Ready? And. Right towards the end. 